Got you. Gotcha. I, I, damn, dude, you're really something? gonna sell yourself that short? You did that. I know I did. Yeah, I, I know it. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, there's a fire extinguisher out there. If you yeah. want to put that fire out there, bud. No, I'm okay. Did you swallow a jar of salt before you came here? Salty. So, Dalton, who's, who, who's your bum? Who's your bum of the week, bud? My bum of the week? A F B. My <laughs> A F B of the week Let actually we- was just on here. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? We're waiting. As I I sit here and do that, as I'm not 100 percent sure on my. No, me either. Bum, 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 my bum, AFB bum. of the week. Do we need to come back to you? Yeah, you need to. Come Chris, back to me. do you have yours? I have mine. Yes, sir. All right, my AFB of the week is Fox News for uh, hiring the man of many talents, the professional kicker, professional dancer, the one hand grope man. Um, What's that, Fox, News? Fox News. I mean, Fox Sports. Same thing. Fox News. Did he just say the one hand grope man? <laughs> yes. <laughs> why does that? Why? 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 Just why? <laughs> uh, I'm not into that. <laughs> I want to go home. Want to go home? Oh, oh. Nice. Continue. My AFB is actually local and actually. Last night on the post game, Coach Pratt and Coach Coos were talking about it. And I'm going to say it. River Valley High School, you got the ball in the fourth quarter with seven ish minutes left. And you just want to keep passing the ball and then running out of bounds, not playing clock management, trying to run the clock down. Really? No. Short, sweet to the point. When you have the ball and you got to play clock management and run the clock down, don't run out of bounds. Don't catch the ball, go out of bounds. Literally, receivers will catch the ball and if they know they play clock management and they're inbounds, don't run towards the sideline. If you are towards the sideline, jump back inbounds and fall and let them two hands tap you. Short, sweet, to the point. Don't run out of bounds. All right, who's next? Grayson. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> yeah, I do have an EFB of the week, too. That was me. Like, so I thought it was. Hey, like, I'm like, hey, we've been on so many different topics. My AFB of the week is short swim to. It's the Bratwurst Festival. Oh God! Oh my God! <laughs> my AFB of the week is the Bratwurst Festival. It was very disappointing. It really was, dude. It yeah. really was. I couldn't find the Bratwurst casserole. Mm-hmm. I couldn't find it. There actually isn't that many Bratwurst vendors because they all vend the same. It's mm-hmm. it's two companies. That's it. So, like, I'm trying to figure out the huge significance of it now. When I go up there and I'm like, wow. The casserole, Dalton. I couldn't. It wasn't there. I couldn't find it. That's a, there's a reason it's hidden well is because it's a hidden gem. You have to know how to do it. <sighs> Just, like, I, I wasn't impressed. And there were some people there that on the stages that really don't know how to sing. It was pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, nope, I'm good. Look, because I'm not saying I know how to sing any better. Then why are you complaining? But I'm just saying, stick with your day job. And if that's your day job, then I'm sorry. Good shit. Good. Yeah. All right. What you got, Raisin? Uh, my AFB of the week. just moan when you finish that? <laughs> no, it was a burp. Well, he said yeah to me. I said, said, I said yeah to him. Said, yeah. Burp. It sounded like a moan. <laughs> Man. Hey, Family well, sounds like there, but... can make moan really well. My AFB of the week, RJ Young. Yeah, thank we you. talked about him earlier. No more need. What's his What's his real name? He doesn't deserve RJ anymore. Okay, it's he, RJ. It's RJ. He does. It's, it's not a, like a acronym, whatever it's called. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, it, it, an acronym. You know what? I'll find Bob Junior. How's that? Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, is it one of them? Their acronyms? He, he 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 used big words. So I couldn't understand it. Sorry. He, he used no he used one of them. Their college words. He used one of them college words. What's college? Schmedium. Did you say yours? Yeah. yeah he's- Schmidium? Mine was remember- Schmedium. Schmedium. Remember it was the one hand grope man? Uh, oh, yeah. Schmedium. I call as needed. No, Urban one Oscar Meyer. Urban- Urban- well, Urban Oscar Meyer, we know. So I guess nobody really wanted to talk about the real bums of the week. You? For having your seven on the thing with somebody else. <laughs> oh, yeah. that, that's an honorable mention. All right. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dumb ass sitting up here running audio, not knowing that I'm the problem. Uh, no, the real bums of the week are the uh, the umpires for that Indians game or uh, Guardians game with uh, the Tigers. Oh yeah, those are the real bums. Um, uh, 
Wow. Uh, wow. How do you how do you overturn a run and then just let it happen to the other team? Yeah. 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 Um, we'll just leave that there. And uh, before we get on that soapbox anymore. So who's who's your absolute unit of the week there, Dalton? Did you give your bump? Oh, yeah. You yes, did. I did. Yeah, My did. absolute unit of the week is this man right here. Dan motherfucking Campbell. The Dan the camera. Or Dan, the camera. Dan Campbell. Can the Dandel is one of the most intense coaches I've seen in a while. Mm -hmm. And that hard knocks is at Detroit and his, actually being able to see his passion. Oh, uh, it's it it I was laying in bed watching the first episode yes. and it, I wanted to run through a wall. Cool Aid man. Like I, I really did. Oh, yeah, seriously, that was yeah. me. I was, I had goosebumps. My heart, I, I was ready to go. I was like, you were having shit. palpitations. Yes, I was. I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. awesome. Did you maybe <laughs> think? Did you maybe think it was the multiple thousands of milligrams? No, it was definitely not that. that, that no, but, that's mine. <laughs> but I, I mean, just to actually see, because I know we we talked about them all last season. But to actually see it now, yeah. Oh, it's it's amazing. My hats off to Dan Campbell. I really hope the Detroit Lions do very right. well this year. And I, 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 I. So, did you watch the second episode? I have not watched it yet. I'm okay. going to watch it today. Don't All spoil right. it. I'm not going to. I, I wanted to talk about like one small part in it, but oh, go ahead. Actually, it's fine. No, it's it's a decent like okay. part of the story. I was going to. Oh, I didn't know. I had a quote that he. I, I said will say in this. The show. I, will, I will say this. Blau. If you've seen the, the second episode already, I don't know, you haven't, Jeremy, have you seen it? I haven't watched Hard Knocks, I'm going to be honest. What? Chris, have you seen the second episode? No, I don't care for spoilers right. anyway. Uh, so they're running two-minute offense in their preseason game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're starting to drive, and Blau goes up to get the snap, and he fumbles it. Oh, you've never seen that fumble yeah, yeah, yeah. in the preseason game? Yeah. And so it 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 just kind of like a killer. So I felt for him. Mm -hmm. There was one quote, and I think it was from Dan Campbell because they were doing an interview, and Dan Campbell said, "I don't care whether you have one butt cheek or three toes, we're coming to kick your ass." Yeah, he no, said a quote no, like that. Yeah, I'm like, first episode. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I won't be that letting Cody man and run through a brick wall. Now that that's the I want that hung up above every locker room. Seriously though, <laughs> and then seeing uh. Oh shit! The running back's name, Jamal Williams, Jamal gets emotional like that. Yeah, dude, it was. He cares. He mm -hmm. legit cares. But you want to know? Actually, this could have been a bum. This is my honorable mention. Aiden Hutchinson is my bum. Oh, I'm not a fan of him. Okay, I really am. You haven't been a fan of him. I'm not a fan of him. I really am. So, are you a fan or are you not? I'm not a fan of him. All right, because you you I'm, contradict yourself. No, I I really am sense. not a fan of him. Really okay. You really aren't. <laughs> Noted. Ain't. Anyway. Is it anyway. My AFU yaint. of the week. My AFU of the week yaint, comes yaint. from uh, NFL game last night. Okay. A one Mr. Chris Olave got his first NFL touchdown. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Time to start rooting for the New Orleans Buckeye. Pretty much. It, yeah. There's what? Six? A thousand? <laughs> yeah. Six thousand? All of them? Six. All of them? All of them. <laughs> pretty all much. Them. Yeah. All of them and then Jameis Winston. Yes. yes. Pretty you much. Who's eating dubs? Allegedly, Jameis Winston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eating dubs. <laughs> Eat, eating dubs and throwing 30 picks. If, and if, 30 if that's touchdowns. why you... And 5,000 yards. Anyway, it works. Continue. Who's your AFU? Anyway, my AFU of the week is has to be Albert Pujols. Yeah. Hitting a the grand slam. Shocker. Hitting a grand slam at 107 years old. Shocker. 10. I haven't heard that. 10, no dingers, a, 10 dingers away from 700. Just living up. He's having a hell of a final year. Shocker. So I'm proud of him. And honorable mention is Yachty for passing Yogi Berra fifth all time in hits for a catcher. Shocker. There it is. Thank you. It I did it three times. <laughs> <laughs> Dalton said he hadn't heard it in a while, so he now heard it. Two more times after the one. So I'll actually do an honorable mention, and it's. <laughs> oh, anyway. Chair. Honorable mention. I'm, I'm scared that Chris is going to have mine. Probably not. Is yours? 
for high school football or oh like, no 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 they were good then okay yeah we're, we're good. good so for high school shelby high school they actually came back and won their game in the last second with a game-winning field goal yeah and if you guys haven't heard the post game paul james and coach aj pratt were actually talking about it but shelby high school just played their final home football game at the i can't remember skies field i believe was the name of the stadium or their field i believe so yes can't remember but they played their final game there and they ended up getting the win so always awesome to hear the final game at your final home your home stadium you get the win that's important are they getting so, a new stadium yep oh that's got a new stadium and already got about in it's not grass i asked paul about it yesterday like they still the same with grass or did they get turf and paul said that he believed they got turf but it's still nice. Everybody's kind of going to turf. Yeah, everyone's going to turf. And... The whippets, baby. Yeah. That wasn't the chair. I know that. <laughs> that wasn't the chair. Anyway, but my actual AFU of the week Twerking. is that actually my favorite, one of my favorite rock bands, actually my favorite one. They were actually started here. They are from Columbus, Ohio. It is Star Set. They dropped a single yesterday. They had Brinky and Benjamin collabed with them. And mm-hmm. I kid you not, the song name is Waiting for the Sky to Change. Mm-hmm. And I have that. I had it on repeat. Hey, uh, so good? Chris, can I actually add something in on that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so the drummer from Three Days Grace actually helped uh, write the song as well, I believe. So there's three big bands on that one. So I'm gonna so go so so I'm gonna do what Dalton did and just be the yeah <laughs> yeah the absolutely. So I was uh, scrolling Instagram this morning and he had posted something on Instagram talking about it. Well, I know when at least on Spotify because it said Star Set Breaking Benjamin and then the name. So I wonder if the name was the Three Days Grace drama. I can't. I can't it's not right mind. off the top of my head right now. I'm sorry. So yeah, it's okay. uh, for some reason I'm thinking of the lead guitarist for Ice Nine, but so <laughs> that's all right. You three days and I'm like, wait, they got Barry. <laughs> No, they didn't have Barry. No. Yeah, they had a Barry for no. though. No. I'm going to their next concert. What do you got? I'm, I'm going to... No. No. I'm going to pack my things now because I'm going to say something that's going to get me thrown in the box. I listened to that song last night. Mid. That's just you. No. You're entitled to your opinion, but in this case, your opinion's wrong. You're entitled to your own opinion. I'm just here to tell you it's wrong. No, I haven't had no. it on repeat. You're fine. Huh? I, I haven't had it on repeat. I, I listened to it once and it. I thought, not a fan. I, I don't hate this song. It's not it's not something I'm throwing on repeat. I don't know, no, but that's also because I'm a big source of fan. The Five Finger album last night. I haven't gotten to I Prevail yet. But I haven't listened to the whole I Prevail album, but everything I heard from the I Prevail album. I haven't so. yet heard of- What? What? It's your turn. Yeah, I know. He's he's rolling on, but we're talking music right now. You know, Anyways. that's just the easiest way to get me rolling. But No shit. Box. <laughs> I don't need your sass. You're at a 20 right now. I need you down to a three. You guys sound like you're married, but not happy. I didn't know. I don't have a ring. I don't have my ring yet. Wait, does that mean you denied the proposal last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Baja Blast just didn't do it, you know? Damn it. I'm more of a Code Red kind of guy. Yeah, you would be. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> so, my unit of the week has to be definitely the Cleveland Nailers, bud. Because uh, uh, after after bringing up both the Nailers brothers, if they're not streaking all the way through to the playoffs, I don't know what is. Yeah, what's up? That was going to be mine, but I knew you were going to take it. Absolutely. So Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I knew that was where he was heading. Uh, absolutely. Like See, uh, Dan. big love. Big love. Look Cleveland at me. Thankful. Nailers. So much for taking 30 to 40 seconds. <laughs> absolutely. So, on that end. <laughs> We're done with the AFUs, AFBs. Yes. Any yeah. final notes? Uh, fun, uh, final words? No, 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 no. I just have to say real quick, because I just thought about it. The game, you're a fucking bum, okay? For no reason, drops a diss track on Eminem, uh, nope. Dr. Dre, Snoop. Okay. Who? Just got to let you know. Who? It's like 10 minutes long, too. It's crazy. Who? Who? Exactly. You're talking about the game? Yeah, he said the he's rapper? Be- the, yeah, the best rapper. Oh, yeah, I, I know yeah. about the game, yeah. yeah. Bum. Yeah, because he was on a couple of features. Absolute fucking bum. Okay. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Well, it's, that's right. Does he not remember what happened to MGK when he threw out a, a diss on Eminem? He said Eminem you know, came back and killed him. He said he got one on one in a versus. Are we not going to talk about the Nick Cannon situation? Buried. All right, so final words. 
No, you've already done it. You've already done it. You've already <laughs> done it once. And we're cutting. And we're canceled. And we're canceled. Final words, carful anecdotes. Uh, fun pieces, tidbits of information. Yeah, as Chris, I was not looking at you for fun tidbits no, because you're going to talk 30 minutes about a stat. Get nah, you're big good. Love, big nah, love, big nah, love. Nah, nah, but, oh, you always know that. I, I, that's like nothing. But no, oh. Mine's short, sweet, to the point. Football Friday night's back. I'm happy it's football season. Damn it, you college football's getting ready to come back. It's football time, baby. Just not do your usual. Usual. You got your usual. Do your usual. I'm sorry. You're mad he took your shit, too? Now you know how it feels. Hey, no, because okay. you take my shit too. <laughs> no, I'm getting everything. Because my job is to steal everybody's thunder. So <laughs> you're chairman. You're allowed to. As always. <laughs> go buck. Go buck eyes. Wow, I about screwed it up. Go it polar is. bears. Go tribe. Go crew. Oh, oh god. No. Just go, just go. Go nailers. Go nailers. Just yes. Go, just go any and it's uncultured. I can't wait to actually get out and see some Friday night games. I'll probably Unfold. stop by and see a couple of these. Wow, these scores are really bad, though, from last night. On it's school. the first week of high school. Yeah, that's first Everybody's week. working out their uh, yeah. shoes. But, yeah. I'll um, be there. I'll be watching Harding's Friday night. Wonder why it tastes like beer. Anything on your note, Racer? Be Absolutely. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, <Sorry. he's> like... <laughs> Hey, now all three of them at the table have stolen. Sentence. All three of the people at the table have now stolen your thunder today. So how's that feel, Raceman? They have all jumped in on and stole something or stolen time from you. How's it feel? Just end the podcast. <laughs> Well, on that note, I will thank you for listening to Not Your Average Sports Fans podcast. Yeah, I think we should be here. But uh, I think.